configure the extender using a smartphone. Reset button. It is used to restore the extender to factory default. Default access re.tenda.cn. It's the default login domain name of the extender. Wi-Fi name SSID, Tenda 36A230. WPS button. You can press WPS button on a router or AP first, and within two minutes press this button to establish a WPS connection. First, plug the Tenda A9 into an electrical outlet near your Wi-Fi router, and reset it to restore factory default settings. If you forgot your password and can't access the Tenda A9, you may perform a router reset to restore factory defaults. You can use a needle-shaped object to press and hold this button for about 8 seconds until the LED indicator turns to solid orange. Secondly, use your smartphone to search and connect to the extender's Wi-Fi name. Wi-Fi name SSID, Tenda 36A230 is on both the label of the extender's rear panel and the label of the extender's side panel, shown as below. Third, open a browser on your smartphone. Type the default login domain name re.tenda.cn or default login IP address 192.168.0.254 into the address bar, and click Go. Fourth. When the extender's web UI appears, select the Wi-Fi name SSID you want to extend and click Next. Fifth, enter the Wi-Fi password of the selected Wi-Fi name, if any, and click Finish. Tips. If you don't want to set up the extender's Wi-Fi name and password to the same as those of the base station, uncheck the Option before set up the extender's Wi-Fi name and password to the same as those of the base station, customize the extender's Wi-Fi name and password, and then click finish. Wait until the extending progress is complete. It will take a few seconds. Observe the LED indicator on the extender to choose an optimum extending location. Sixth, connect to the Wi-Fi network named Wi-Fi Tenda and set up a login password. Go to re.tenda.cn and go to Administration or click on Set up a login password, you'll see where to set up your Tenda A9 admin password. Then click on OK. After the Enter your admin password. Then click on Login. 